Despite a few cold days, this winter has been unseasonably warm. From critters to the crud, we wanted to know how this mild weather will be affecting you later this year. Well, THV's Meredith Mitchell talked to the experts to find out the truth behind all these rumors and joins us now from the Weather Garden with more on this story. Meredith. Well, Craig, whenever we see warmer than normal temperatures in the winter, many questions arise. Have seasonal allergies flared up early? And will we see more bugs this spring and summer? What we found out is there's some truth and myth to all that talk. Until now, the forecast hasn't been too wintry across Arkansas, allowing many of us to enjoy the milder weather. But with the positive temperatures come negative results. UALR biology professor Janet Lanza says the warmer temperatures still have a bite. Most insects have some kind of resting stages in the winter, and so I think it wouldn't be surprising that more of them survive when it's mild. But I also want to add that winter is not over, and I think you may have jinxed us. And she's right. Climatology reports place the last freeze for central Arkansas in early April. Dr. Lanza does add, though, that after last year's cold and snowy winter, she did notice less of one pest. I think that I had fewer fire ant problems last summer than I had in previous summers. And I have in my mind attributed that to the colder winter because we do know that the northward spread of fire ants is limited by cold temperatures. Mosquitoes, fleas, and ticks are also limited during colder months. Experts say the milder weather allows for those insects to be more fruitful and multiply. The rise in temperatures can also be bad for those with allergies to mold. Dr. J.J. Miller with Arkansas Otolaryngology says patients are already showing symptoms of seasonal allergies. I wouldn't say that it's triggered early allergies. I think what it's done is it's made the mold um, counts very high, which has intensified the allergy problem that we normally don't have. As it gets much colder, that kills the mold. Dr. Miller says we just haven't seen cold enough temperatures to kill the mold allergen off here in the state this winter. All right, thank you, Meredith. We got it. Allergists say even though all that sniffling and sneezing has started earlier than usual, it doesn't necessarily mean we'll see higher pollen counts or worse allergies come spring.